the term plus size, look, it's kind of strange because when I, when I meet people out and they're like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, in my head it starts to go, here we go, we have the cycle of like, I'm going to say them, do I tell them I'm a model or do I tell them I'm a plus model? If I just be like, I'm a model, I know people will just go like, I can see them just looking me up and down and being like, <laughs> yeah, right, she's a model. Or you say, oh, I'm a plus size model. And they're like, oh, no, babe, don't say that. You're beautiful. I remember when I was 18, my, my body went from like a, like a size 12 to a size 16. I got a boyfriend and we were staying in and we were cooking together and I'd gone to university. So it was like a whole new chapter in my life where you know, I just left home and I was, didn't know how to cook and it was on a low budget so you were eating certain things that were cheap and the weight along with the pill just came on. I don't think I really cared about it too much until I started to get stretch marks. So I got stretch marks all over my stomach, they just appeared and to be honest, I was so young I didn't really know what they were and I'd only ever seen stretch marks on like, on like pregnant women and I had stretch marks all over my stomach but they were like bright cherry red. And I was like, at first I thought it was just a, like a print of like the jeans or something. I didn't, I didn't visually see, as a child, I didn't see any stretch marks on anyone, on any models, any musicians, anything like that. So for me at that age, I was confused at why I had them. There was a little moment when I was younger of like, ooh, you know, like maybe like being on my side or like not showing my stomach maybe wanting to like spoon that person rather than they spoon me because I didn't want them to like feel my belly. I used to wear a lot of like vintage like pin-up clothing when I was younger. So I'd wear a lot of like, um, like one pieces, you know, and to try and hide it. And when I think about being 18 and having stretch marks, I can't particularly think of a time that I remember going swimming. I know that if I did, I would have definitely worn like a full, um, like a swimsuit, like not a bikini. I actually feel sad about it that I used to feel like that because I was meant to feel like that was, there was something wrong with me. I, you know, I have cellulite on my legs and I didn't really notice it too much until I was a bit older. But at the same time, I saw my mum with cellulite. So for me, I didn't feel that was as bad as the stretch marks. I have a lot of uh, like male friends that are into fitness. You know, they're quite like toned and big guys. They have stretch marks all over their body, like all over their body. I've definitely had rejections from guys, but I also work in an industry which is based purely on uh, rejection. You know, you're a model, you're literally like, you could be up for something and be packed and ready to fly somewhere and the day before you get called in. And if you ask why, it's maybe your inch is too, two inches too big. So I feel the rejection part of it is something that's like always been part of my life within my career, that it's just like, okay, cool. You ain't got my vibe, I ain't got yours. Men don't actually care. They really don't care. <laughs> it's true. If they want you and they want your body, the last thing that they're really gonna care about is, is that. And if they do say something, they have insecurities with themselves. I know that my body shape essentially wouldn't have been the perfect body shape to even be a plus size model. But because commercially, they want models which are you know, a perfect body shape whatever that might be and nowadays it's that kind of petite curve and I do have lumps and bumps that maybe they should be toned up maybe they should be slimmed down and I should try and fit into the norm but I'm not going to because I think if I did that I would lose myself lose my personality in my opinion I feel me sticking by me being me you know dressing the way I want to dress will pay off and if it doesn't pay off financially, it's gonna pay off emotionally. We only get one chance at life and I feel you're always gonna be happy if you're gonna be real with yourself. My name is Felicity Hayward and I would like to dispel the myth that bigger girls can't get what they want and can't achieve what they want and can't be happy and get whatever man or woman or anything that they want, can't be on the beach in a bikini. The perfect body does not exist because not two humans on this planet are the same. So you have to inspire to be the best version of yourself, not someone else.